You are now tuned in to the Next Dimension University broadcast. Come under the Godnosphere and experience the next dimension in destiny with us. Be empowered and educated through any of the 61 and growing ministry career fields. We are a school of purpose. We are a school of destiny. We are poised and ready to prepare, equip, empower, and deploy you into your kingdom assignment. We are the lowest cost, fully accredited Bible college in Southern California today. And now, join us as your destiny began. Well, I'm excited about this telecast, Dr. McLeod, School of Destiny. We're excited for what uh, this next half an hour is going to entail. We're going to be talking about charism, charismata, and charismatic, the charismatic movement. We're going to be talking about the operation of the gifts of the Spirit, and the power of the Holy Ghost to facilitate all of that. So make sure you get your pen and paper, get ready to go to school on television. But God bless you, you're here at Next Dimension University and we invite you here on board with the School of Destiny. Those of you that are viewing by television, you're one of our honor, honorary students here today. We're under the Godmosphere where there is a move of God. We're here to stomp out biblical illiteracy and we're raising up master teachers they're going to be instrumental in helping us to obliterate, to stomp out, to abolish biblical illiteracy, not only in our churches, but outside of our churches. So we're having a revival of the Bible. We're saying to all of America, let's start getting into the book, the holy book, not just a philosophical book, not just a doctrinal book, but the holy book that's able to deliver you and make you free. So those of you that are here, the student body at Next Dimension University, if you're excited about getting into the word of God, let everybody all around the country know that there's a revival of the Bible in Southern California. There's a revival of the Bible in Florida. There's one going on in New York. There's one going on in Atlanta. There's a revival of the Bible in Tahiti. There's one going on in Africa. We are preparing leaders to be deployed in foreign land and to take this same anointing, the same grace to areas that have not been uh, contaminated, if you will, with this anointing, with this word of God. We want to affect other regions. If you're excited about affecting other regions with the excitement of the word of God, come on, give God a great big hurrah at Next Dimension University. God bless you. Yeah, but so anyway, I went to this conference here recently, and the woman of God, I mean, I, I can call her name, Juanita Bynum, she was talking about not losing the oil. And I, the oil, it was such a powerful and such a dynamic message. And I want to say to all of the student body here at Next Dimension University, I don't want you to come on campus and then lift your head pompously and, and be cocky and be, you know, arrogant about your theological prowess, okay? That's not what it's about, women and men of God, all right? You can go to, uh, you know, you can go to getting all the textbook information. You can get the theological terminology and glossary. You could become the smartest. You could become the sharpest knife in the uh, kitchen, uh, you know, cabinet, if you will. But we need you to be more than sharp. <laughs> We need you to be more than educated. We need you to be more than cerebral. We need you to be anointed. We need you to have the oil. We need you to have the power of God because the only the anointing is what's gonna destroy the yoke. If you're in agreement with that, come on, give God a great big hat of applause. Don't come into next dimension and lose your fire. <laughs> Tell somebody, I'm not gonna lose my fire. <laughs> Come on, say, I'm at the university, <laughs> but I ain't losing my fire. <laughs> Glory to God. And that's why we're going to stick with the gifts of the Spirit. We're on the subject right now of pneumatology. 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 The study of the Holy Ghost. The study of the Spirit of God. The study of the operation of the gifts of the Spirit. The study of the operation and the functionality of the Holy Ghost in our lives. That's very important. You know, at one point, we were just the church, you know, just kind of moving along very traditionally, very religiously. And then uh, some schools of thought call it, we got the second blessing. <laughs> uh, and it all depends on what, you know, school of thought you espouse to. 
A lot of people believe, you know, when you get saved, you get the Holy Ghost. I believe when you get saved, you get the Holy Ghost. But I believe also in the infilling of the Holy Ghost. And I'm going to submit for your research and for your evaluation that that would be considered the second blessing. Okay, again, uh, some scholars call it and label it the second blessing because the first blessing is receiving the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And then one of the greatest things that happens in Pentecostalism or in Charismaticism or in Protestantism is the infilling of the Spirit of God. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Getting filled with the Holy Ghost. Now, everybody is not there. And everybody don't quite understand what that's about. And that's why at Next Dimension University, we're not going to treat you like a member of a church. We're going to treat you like a scholar. And treating you like a scholar means that you could think independent of my influence. You can think independent of the Sunday school superintendent's <laughs> influence. You could think independent of the bishop's influence because you've got to know that word for yourself. Amen? You've got to know the word for yourself. And the difference between this environment, this culture, this Godmosphere is that we want you to become a superior thinker. Okay? Think on your own two feet. And so I'm not going to be shoving my doctrine, my philosophical biases down your throat. I'm going to disseminate the information regarding the Holy Ghost, regarding tongues, and regarding this whole discipline of pneumatology. We're going to put it out there objectively. What did I say? We're going to put it. And you are the researchers, you are the documenters, and you are the reporters. So you have to research, you have to document, and you have to report. What did I say? The onus is on you. What is that? 2 Timothy 2.15 says, study to show yourself approved unto God. Amen. The implication, the inference there is you study <laughs> to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly, or the word there is to straight cut the word of truth. Amen? So tell somebody we got to straight cut the word of truth. We can't leave jagged edges. Amen. We can't be taking a stab at the word of God. We can't be trying out the word of God. You need to prove what you're going to say before you say what you say. Amen. You have to research and make sure that you come with substantial evidence. Amen. That's why I like uh, studying the Bible and I like the whole concept of, uh, and the discipline of hermeneutics because I believe you need to come with substantial evidence for what you are presenting. There is no harm, no foul in you having your opinion on tongues, on the gifts of the Spirit. There's no harm, no foul in you having your own take, your chime in, your interjection, your belief system, your school of thought on those subjects. But you got to come with the evidence. Tell somebody you got to come with the evidence. Don't be just, sh don't trifle over my brain. Don't trifle over my spirit. Don't trifle over my valuable time saying stuff that you can't qualify. Oh, that was a good time to give God a great big hand of applause. If you're going to say it, back it. Tell somebody if you're going to say it, back it up. Back it up. We are the ones that are the theological forensic specialists. Amen. We got to find the trace evidence. We've got to find the smoking gun. We've got to be able to back up what we say with the text. And we've got to be able to interpret it and articulate it correctly. And if you believe that to be the truth, come on, give God a great big hand of applause today. <laughs> Because there's, there's different kinds of tongues. There's different kinds of baptisms. Glory to God. The sixth chapter of Hebrews. And the first verse says, Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance of dead works towards God's resurrection from the dead and the doctrine of baptism. There is a whole teaching. There is a whole discipline on the subject of baptism. So don't get stuck on stupid. Don't have 
have a stain on your brain, do the research and come with the substantial evidence if you're going to give me an argument on the subject of tongues, the gifts of the spirit, baptism. Come on, tell somebody, know your stuff. Come on, give God a great big hand of applause. Cause I'm, you all are looking at me like, you got to know your stuff. And see, I, I thank God I don't rely on your tithes and offering. Because y'all can't, y'all can't shut me down. Glory to God. You've already paid your tuition. That's why you're up in here. Y'all can't shut me down. You can't shout me down. You can't shut me down. This is Bible college. When I used to pass it, y'all could use a whole year, you know, your gifts and your tithes and your offerings and so forth and talk about us. But now I don't care. Tell somebody, Dr. Cloud, I don't care what you think. Ooh, Jesus. We're going to make sure you have it because guess what? You're influencing a nation. You are birthing a nation. You are influencing a nation. So you need to know what you're talking about. And stop that gibberish and that unintelligible communication. Give them the word of the Lord. Stop speaking in tongues to people when you're supposed to be communicating to people. If you agree with that, come on, give God a great big hand of applause. Oh, Jesus, y'all getting me excited up in here. But I got to shut it down. <laughs> Glory to God. So you have your assignment there, okay? Uh, you did get the book on Good Morning Holy Spirit by Benny Hinn, right? And you're supposed to do that book report, okay, on Good Morning Holy Spirit. We want you to particularly underscore two or three chapters of the book, all right? And make sure that you make your points very elaborative and do a commentary and a report on that book. The other uh, book assignment was Kenneth Hagin's book, right, you guys, uh, about the gifts of the Spirit. And you're supposed to report on all nine gifts of the Spirit that are enumerated there in 1 Corinthians 12. All right, and then you have your points here that are laid out in your handout. If you don't have a handout, just make sure you get one from, uh, from our facilitators later on. But each one of these points, you, I, don't want to, I don't want to say you must uh, get the Holy Ghost, you must speak in tongues. I'm not going to say you must do anything because this is Bible college. You need to resolve and resign after your research that that is something uh, is valuable to me. If I want to have power, if I want to have the anointing, if I want to flow in God, if I want to walk in the spirit, if I want to spirit walk in this hour, I need to have these particular elements functioning in my life. You need to come to that resolve and resign. Am I right, everybody? Come on, give God another great big hand of applause. So you understand your assignment. You have your handout. And to those of you that are viewing by television, if you want to be part of our pneumatology class, pneumatology 101, we approach every subject matter hermeneutically. That is to say, we exegete the text. We pull out of the text the intended meaning of the author, and we try to find out what is the bottom line. We get the theological point of view, and then we get the practical point of view. We get the logos, and then we get the rhema. We get what is in the text, and then we get the revelation. But we do everything decently and in order here at Next Dimension. Amen? If you agree with that, come on, give God a great big hand of applause one more time. So if you want to be a part of the class and engage and this is the year that you activate yourself, woman of God, man of God, as you are viewing today. This is the time to make a power move. God, I'm writing a book right now, making power moves to advance your purpose. This is the time to make a power move. And one of the power moves you should make right now is to give me a call, 888-206-4344, and say, Dr. McLeod, I want to be mentored under this particular uh, discipline of pneumatology. I want to hear what you have to say. Would you send me the material? And I'll like, I'm interested also in a distant learning, or I want to enroll in Next Dimension University. Next Dimension University is looking for the next new breed of master teachers that are rising in this hour to be deployed to the nation. Come on, give us a call. Well, God bless you, friend of mine. Until the next occasion, we grant you God's speed. God will bless you. God will keep you as we together continue to strive for the masteries that are in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Come on, give God a great big hand of applause today. Well, God bless you. Thank you for hanging out with us as we fellowship around the word of God. And as we were discussing the subject matter of pneumatology, the study of the Holy Ghost, we need to know about tongues. We need to know about the gifts of the Spirit. We need to know about the operation of the Holy Ghost in our lives. Now, this particular subject matter, particularly the subject of tongues, can be very controversial. And so we want to continue to hammer away and bring clarity and remove all the ambiguity as it pertains to this subject matter. 
So we want you to hang out with us as we come together at this same time. We want you to have your book and pencils ready to write because you got to fight to write. You got to put it down so it could be found. You got to ink what you think so that you can sprint with the blueprint. So it's important for you to put it down. Document, document, document these things. Now, I want you to, I want to meet you. So we're going to be having a super assembly in Gardena. So to those of you that are part of our student body and, and those of you that are associated with Next Dimension University or you want to inquire about our program, I want to give you a package concerning Next Dimension University so that you can formally get on board with the university. So meet me at the Gardena campus. It's 1515 190th Street. The information should be there at the bottom of your screen. Is We're having a super assembly on the, this month, actually, May the 27th. It's a Friday night. You can meet us at 7 o'clock. And we're going to have a dynamic speaker. We're going to be covering the subject matter of the theology of grace and the theology of holiness. So the theology of grace and theology of holiness, you don't want to miss this super duper assembly with Apostle Ron Hill and myself. And we're just going to be uh, sharing with the student body and to all of our guests and visitors concerning the theology of holiness and the theology of grace. So I look forward to having you. God bless you, friend of mine. i got to sign off. Until the next occasion, we want you to continue to hang out with the School of Destiny telecast as we continue to strive for the masteries that are in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Listen. to me in my life. Listen, let me tell you about this. Third verse, here we go. Sing. If you need protection, he can give you shelter. He will be your life. When the storm is raging, the storm is raging. and even though it brings you, though it bring you down to your knees, he'll hold you in his arms of love and calm those rough seas. He will never some problems. I didn't have no money. I was sick in my body, but the Lord rescued me. You see, one and one and one is three. Goodness, Goodness grace, and mercy, yes, they all follow me. They come together hey. right now. Oh, for me. Hey. Say it again. I want to say it one more time. I want to, I want to, we want to leave you with something to think about. Listen, has God been good to you? Has he been good to anybody out here? Has he been good to you? Well, if he's been good to you, you know you got a witness in your soul. What's this? Listen, listen, what's this? Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Omega and Lord.
you believe Jesus is coming back, if you believe it, shout, Amen. Behold, He I'm expecting him today. Come on, do it. Do it. Students, you're going to have to know this one thing. 